Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stacey, creator of Mother Naked, and today I'm gonna to make an essential oil candle. I know, I know, I know, I know, no, no, said that I would never make these for customers, but I love them for myself. I never said that I wouldn't make them for myself because I can control what happens with the essential oil candles. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, basically if you make essential oil candles and you screw up stirring the fragrance oil into uh, the essential oil into the candle, uh, when someone comes to light your essential oil candle, it could ignite uh, on them. So with someone that suffers from OCD quite badly, uh, it just wasn't for me in terms of making essential oil candles for customers. But I actually love essential oil candles myself, especially at Christmas time. Uh, I usually buy non candles, uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make my own today because we've got tons and tons of essential oils, uh, so they've got to get used somehow. Today I'm gonna show you how I make an essential oil candle. Okay, so you're gonna need a candle jar. Uh, I'm using the 38CL Salacia candle jar from Patterson's Glass or jarsandbottles.co.uk. Uh, it's a really huge, I want a really, really, really huge one. So this is what we're gonna be using. You're gonna need a wick sticker. You're gonna need a wick. Uh, I'm gonna use a ribbon wick because I just prefer those. I know they're being discontinued, but we're still gonna use them for this video. You're gonna need a wick holder, thermometer, some essential oil and the wax in a jug or the weight of wax you need for whatever candle jar you're using. I've got 400 ml for a 38cl glass. Okay, so I'm just gonna unlabel my wick sticker, put my large wick on there and head for the middle of the glass. And then add our wick holder. Lovely. Okay, so now I'm just gonna heat up my wax. I also make sure that it's not gonna go above 70 or 80 degrees C. Okay, so our wax has melted. It's currently at 71.5. So we're just gonna wait till that cools down. I'm gonna wait till it cools down to 57 degrees. If you've heard me say this before, it's exactly the same as using Cozy Owl fragrances for my normal candles. Uh, so yeah, I, I cool it down to 57 degrees uh, again because it's got more to do with the Eco Soya CB135 uh, wax than it has to do with the essential oil or fragrance oil that you're using. So we're just going to have to wait till 57 degrees C now, which won't be long. Okay, so this is exactly 400 ml of wax. We're not going to be using 10% like I would in a fragrance oil because normally I put 40 ml of fragrance oil in here. We're not going to be doing that because it's essential oil. Uh, it's a lot stronger sometimes and there's a lot more complexity in it in terms of safety than with fragrance oil. So I'm going to be using 5% of essential oil. You can work your way up then uh, to 8%. I wouldn't use more than 8% of essential oil in a candle, uh, but that's just me and preference. Uh, but today we're just going to use 5% because this essential oil is quite strong. Uh, I'm using the Christmas Essence Already Blended Christmas Essential Oil. If you are selling essential oil candles, I would use either a Cozy Owl or a Supplies for Candles that have essential oils and essential oil blends uh, because they will provide you with a CLP label and an SDS sheet. Um, so that is so important. Please don't use essential oils that don't give you CLP labels because you can't sell candles without the CLP labels. Uh, and for some reason, essential oils are harder to get hold of the CLP labels. So please make sure you're using a fragrance candle oil supplier for your essential oils. Okay, so like I said, we've got 400 ml. If I was using 10% fragrance oil, it would be 40 ml, but we're not 5%, 20 ml. So we're just gonna, this is gonna take ages. <laughs> Okay, so we now have our 20 ml of Christmas essential oil. Um, this is at 57 degrees C. So now we can pour it in. If the stirring is important on a good day, like with just fragrance oils, so that your fragrance is kind of dispersed equally throughout the candle, but even more so with essential oils. Like I was saying before, uh, if you don't stir it properly and the essential oils kind of lie on top, you run the risk of it igniting on you when you're lighting. Uh, we don't want that. So 
Normally I stir for two minutes. I'd probably stir an essential oil candle for three minutes uh, and make sure it's all really dispersed in there. Okay, so I've stirred it for three minutes. Now we're gonna put it in our candle jar. Perfect. Uh, so there we have it. That's how we make our essential oil candles. Uh, I love essential oil candles. I love them at Christmas. I just, I love essential oils in general uh, for aromatherapy. So I th I don't want to sound like the essential oil uh, candle hater, really, because I'm just not, because I love using them. Uh, I'm a big user of essential oil candles. Uh, it's just I wouldn't particularly sell them because I have OCD and it would just play on my mind too much. But for someone that doesn't uh, and has a love of essential oil candles, go for it. My only thing would be use essential oils from fragrance oil candle suppliers. So like Cozy Owl candle supplies, Craftivator, uh, any of those that do either essential oils or blended essential oils because they will provide you with a CLP label. Uh, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope this has helped you if you want to use some of your essential oils at Christmas. And thank you so much for watching. Mwah!